New at 11, a human does the unthinkable to a dog, pours chemicals on it, causing severe burns. ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomon tonight with this alarming case of animal abuse and the surprising way the dog is now being helped tonight. Six-year-old Teddy, once reeking of chemicals, is now recovering. His eyes badly burned after an accelerant was poured on him. He has some burns on his lungs from just inhaling the fumes. An animal control officer picked up the stray dog in Wesley Chapel last week. Staff started smelling a strange odor similar to an electrical fire, soon realizing the dog was covered in an accelerant. They had a heck of a night treating him because he was already starting to react to the, the chemical burns. Teddy spent nearly four days at a vet before going to Suncoast Animal League. Carrie Burek, a volunteer with the rescue, is looking after the small yeah. dog. He's just curious about everything and he's just really gentle and sweet. When Teddy first arrived at Animal Services, they shaved off his fur and placed it in this bag. The rescue then brought the bag to the fire department, and firefighters there say the fur smelled like kerosene. Burek knows how to care for dogs suffering from chemical burns. She adopted Denali after we reported last year that she was burned in a house fire, allegedly set by her owner. I was hoping that Denali would... Um maybe help him feel a little more relaxed and she's just enamored with him. She loves him. <laughs> she follows him around. Two dogs surviving a horrible situation now bonded together by good people in the world. One bad person shouldn't, you know, make you lose faith in, in everyone. Reporting in Pasco County, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.